Boston College won the toss, so BC has elected to receive to get this one underway. And that means a lot of touches early by A.J. Dillon. And he needs two more rushing touchdowns to become BC's all-time leader. On a jump pass, that's going to be incomplete. Back around the 30. And very capable of ripping off a long one, but a fair catch right around the 30-yard line. And out of the gun, Lawrence throws quickly over the middle. That's Ross tied up. Justin Ross eventually grabbed by Elijah Jones. Make your defensive backs cover in space. Clear advantage for Clemson. ETN, big hole, gaping hole up the middle. Taken down inside the 10. He almost went all the way. Own read, run. Defensive end comes up the field, and Travis ETN just ends up split. Dixon in at the running back. Looking for the end zone now, stepping up and dragged down. He's taken down on the play by Brandon Barlow. You're going to look at Trevor misses one here. They're going to run a little kind of rub play here. And Ross, excuse me, Higgins is wide open. Trevor's working that way and just misses him. There isn't anyone within Boston College, obviously fortunate there. So Potter on for the field goal, and he will drill that. To put Clemson in front, three to nothing. 250-pound back coming downhill. That's the type of run they can have success with. A lot of running attacks tend to be on the plotting side. Now you get into a known passing situation, which is tough for BC. We'll see how Grossell responds to this. Has some time, rifles it right down the center. Nearly picked off. Players hard. Does say sometimes about Trevor, I think he's too confident in his arm and in his receivers. They layer it out to the side here, and that's complete to Rodgers to pick up the first down. Time, and I think that Clemson will take advantage of it every time they get it. On the toss sweep. ATM room on that right side. So he'll gain another first. You have Joseph Sparacio, number 34 for BC, playing in space, and he's basically unblocked, but that's a linebacker playing against a three-wide receiver set, and you just see the difference in speed able to turn the corner. It was such a tremendous weapon. Lawrence wants to throw, however. He's going to go deep down the left side. A lot of contact there and another flag. That's going to be interference on Mike Palmer. Or Justin Ross, or T. Higgins for that matter. It's something that favors Clemson. Second pass interference of the night for BC. Stepping up and a lot pass here. And another flag on the play. Trevor Lawrence, you see the different kind of throws he has in the toolbox. Now they're inside the 20 again. Lawrence to keep. Plenty of room to operate. Short pass. He connects with Luke Price, the tight end, inside the five. And trying to bang in their first touchdown of the ball game here against the Eagles. ETN straight ahead, dives in, and he is in for the touchdown. From three yards out for the first touchdown of the contest for the Tigers. Still in start tonight, already 40 yards. And the lunge, the dive to get in. Rossell on third down and six. Going to roll right and look upfield. And he fires and nearly intercepted off the hands of Wallace. Is it going to be? I'm not sure they got the ball past the 35 yard line yet. Yep. Second three and out for BC. Rogers on the back pedal inside the 20. He wants to run it. And they cover him very quickly. Takes a pretty good hit there. To spend a little time with him before the game. A lot of wins, a lot of national championships. Dabo's gunning for another one. This pass is going to be complete. Rip off a long one here to Higgins. Higgins still moving down that right side. 230-pound linebacker to create a big play. They gain 21 yards. First down and 10. On the run is Dixon. Dixon, huge hole. Cutting back to the sideline. Now cuts inside. Those gaps, that goes for 32. Yeah, you look at Dixon, you, you got Moose un unblocked, number eight in the hole. No, no one's there to account for him. Lynn Dixon weaving his way for 32 yards. Pass complete, that one caught by Overton. Overton heading to the end zone, and he's in for another touchdown. That didn't take long, and that goes for 22 yards and a touchdown. Six in terms of throwing the ball out on that drive. You see it there to Overton. 
in space. Good block down the field and a walk-in score for the Clemson offense. They said we're not trying to win a beauty pageant every week. We're trying to win the football game, and he feels like they're doing their job. Oh, tremendous catch here. Hunter Long, the tight end, who is the top receiver on the BC Eagles. Uh, you know, Long get down the field, and this is on I Isaiah Simmons. So you just get a sense of how good that throw is. Probably have a walk-in touchdown. Yeah, that was Kobe White. On the handoff, Dylan. he is stacked up, shy of the first. Stopped by Wallace. On the handoff, it's into the middle of the line as he'll pick up the first by A.J. Dillon. Third down and one. Rosell trying to lean in as he keeps it and will pick up a first down. Who has been awarded a scholarship. Looking to hand off here for Glines trying to bounce out. Trying to find an edge out there. Third and five for Boston College. Dillon back in at the running back. Off to the left side as he continues to churn ahead. Rosell. And indeed he does get the carry and up ahead he goes to pick up a first down. Boston College trying to get in the end zone. Third and goal now. Rosell for the handoff. Dillon into the end zone for the touchdown. So he is one away from the all-time BC record for touchdowns. Racing in from nine yards out. And draw, take the sprint out, hand it to A.J. Dillon. Catch the defense off guard, just split it. And A.J. Dillon doesn't need to use that power as he walks into the end zone. It's and the Tigers here in the second quarter. He's back to throw. And good time to do it. Airs it out, and that will be complete on that far side to Ross. Acrobatic catches. This one, 24 yards. Yeah, and again, you're going to see that it's Palmer. I mean, Palmer is playing six yards off. Your Boston College, you at least want these passing plays to be contested. Now, Tony Elliott says he can be as good as he wants to be. That's certainly true of ETN. Straight ahead. Breaks another tackle. How many did he bust on the way to that big game? Back for another look. Boston College needs unblocked defenders. You see Sparicio there to make the play on this running back, Travis Etienne. If you are unblocked and you are there to make a play, you need to make the tackle. If you don't, it's going to end up being a long night. They have good enough players. Second down and nine. On a carry. Lawrence will step out. You talked about this just as we came on the air tonight. Will they call on Etienne again? On the pitch. Heading for the end zone. He runs his ahead, and he's in for the touchdown. Got a good block out of the tight end. J.C. Chalk to help along the way. And he scores from four yards out. You mentioned the block by Chalk does a good job. And then ETN looks like he's able to spin and get that football over the line before his backside hits the ground. Bailey back in at a running back here for B.C. Rossell from the pocket to throw. And a good catch out near the 40-yard line for the first down. Rossell wants to pass again. Looking to his left, throwing long and too far. Incomplete. Did not want to happen. They have fallen behind here 24-7. Not a team built for big come-from-behind wins. Here's Rodgers on the low punt. And a handoff once again to the center of the line. And pulling ahead for the first down, ETN. For short yardage down a distance. Some teams have been surprised by how frequently they pass on first and second down. Lawrence trying to do that again. And that will be hauled in. A catch made by Ross for a first down. This pass play. You talk about poise in the pocket. Look at the pocket fall in on him. That's a lot of static in the pocket. Kind of have to adjust the way you throw the football. And that is just, that's great quarterback play. I think they want him making those throws to give his big wide receivers a chance to make a play on the football. Short throw despite the bottle. Here's Higgins down the side. T. Higgins. 6'4", Ross is 6'4", Overton is 6'4". A lot of those guys with tremendous elevation skills as well. Here's Rodgers. Gets away from one tackle, and now he scampers to the end zone. 
for six more. They got a really good block out of TJ Chase, and he was off for 19 and a score. So a big part of Amari Rogers' preparation each week is work on the jugs machine every night after practice. So is ETN as far as his pass catching ability. On a run to the left sideline, A.J. Dillon. They're different playmakers. Clemson has already scored more points than they did last season at Chestnut Hill. And here, turnover here, they do recover the fumble. Isaiah Simmons was all over the quarterback, Rossell. Boston College trying to set up a flea flicker of their own, but you can't do it if you, if you have penetration. Isaiah Simmons unblocked. And so the running back just needs to, to eat that one. And pretty good putting game. And 25 for BC. Goes up pressure on him. He heaves it up. Listen, third and 25 is hard for anybody. You just see for Boston College, you just don't have a chance. So you're, you're not built to protect the speed in terms of the blitz packages out of Clemson. It's just hard for them to handle. Flag down as Rodgers tries to make something out of this punt return. He crosses the 30, now the 40, up the sideline. And again, a flag down. Feel so comfortable rolling guys in and out of the lineup on the perimeter. Going to go underneath for that reception by Ngata. And he's the freshman that the coaching staff has been raving about as the next great wideout. Third down one for the Tigers. And Dixon with the carry. As he goes straight ahead, Ram there to say hi. Wants to throw, getting away from the pressure. Running for that sideline, as he has done so effectively once again tonight. I've already complimented him as a passer inside the pocket here. Look at the strength by Trevor Lawrence. That's a defensive lineman trying to wrap his arm around. And a 6'6 sophomore. With a handoff for Dixon. Big hole up the middle. He picks up a first down. Catching. See what I mean by patience of Lynn J. Dixon. And then look at Matt Bockhorst with the. They connect a lot on that play because Ross has a great jumping ability. He'll throw short. Complete to ETN. Trying for that curve before he is taken down. Out of bounds. On the ground. Yeah, in the air and on the ground. This is the option route on Lamont. Lamont just can't stay with him. And then you get down. ETN straight on. Dives in once again. Clemson with another touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run for Travis ETN. His third of the ball game, and he has racked up 92 yards already. Decide just to kind of run power football right at you, running through tackles into the end zone, and it just gives you a glimpse into why Travis Etienne is such an outstanding player. I'm since scoring touchdowns on the last five drives of the first half to pile up the big lead. We'll see if Lawrence actually gets to play in the fourth quarter. He's going to be taken down immediately on the first play of the second half by Marcus Valdez. Yeah, it's coming from over here, and, you know, I think Trevor Lawrence just holds on to this football for too long. Amari Rogers looks like he stops. Trevor's waiting for him. That's a pretty vicious hit. But you know you're talking about 18, 19, 20-year-old kids. For them, it's a different story. And they do talk about it, and that it is a driving factor. Lawrence to go out of bounds here. And we talk about how BC loves to use the tight end. and get three of them in the ballgame right here. Going to run it here. Big hole for Dillon. Dillon with a first down. As he barrels out to the 30, the 45-yard line. It's an 18-yard game. If that were not to happen... Certainly to have his mom here to watch him. She's missed one game since his junior year in high school. Another big carry here. And let's see if that's the one that gets him the record. Stopped by Kayvon Wallace. That's a pretty impressive accomplishment. I mean, you think Boston College has had some really good running backs. They've had some great offensive linemen that have contributed to that. Knocked out of the hands of Rossell. Scooped up. On the run, heading for the end zone, Logan Rudolph, and he is in for the touchdown. Chad Smith forcing the fumble. Rudolph scooped it up. And another touchdown for the Tigers.
A.J. Dillon not able to hold up in pass protection on Chad Smith. He's able to knock the football out of Dennis Grossell's hands. And then Logan Rudolph with a scoop and score. Tonight, four Clemson have really played well. Skalski, Chad Smith doing a really good job pouring it up in there, meeting that run head on. That's obviously a penalty. <laughs> Busting free and a big run is ETN, who has gone over 100 yards with a huge gain there. When you're standing on the hill, you realize how steep that hill is. But, but it, what it made me do is really appreciate Dabo when he runs out. Got that one to Overton, and Overton is off to the races. He will score. Touchdown, Clemson. BC had a chance to break it up, but Trevor Lawrence... 63 yards for the touchdown. And this but, is what I mean about the throw, David. I mean, rolling him out, running to his left, kind of squares up. Good touch on the football when you have a 6'4 wide receiver. I said it earlier, let these guys get their hands on the ball. That's what Trevor Lawrence does. And, you know, Chase Bryce, who already has 88 snaps on the season, is already getting ready to head into this football game. Dennis Grossell, however, has had a tough night throwing it. That one tipped and almost intercepted. Nearly picked by the Tigers. These guys that he can do so much. He's just so versatile, and you can do, you can play him in so many different spots. And that's just a great example of him just having great instincts and being a good football player. That plays into it as well. I also wonder, however, as Chase Bryce is now in the ball game, the backup quarterback, he's looking to run it across the twenty. And he will scamper ahead, take the hit, but. He'll pick up the first down. Standard of play and how they play and not what everyone else is saying. But he keeps talking about, you know, there's a lot of football in front of them. Quick pass here to Powell. Uh, Powell able to bust a tackle and gain additional yards after the catch. Anyway. And I think it's going to be hard as we watch Powell just get all kinds of separation on a slant. They have put themselves a league above in their own leagues. A lot of people who believe that a team like Wake Forest could go into the SEC and knock off plenty of opponents. 6'2", 230-pound sophomore in the pocket, throwing again, and broken up, incomplete. Going to attempt this one for 47 yards. And that one is up, and that one is no good. You do. How do you respond from that? And clearly... Head coach really impressed with his quarterback. Rosell going up top, looking to connect. And that broken up, incomplete. And he tapped himself on the chest going up and down the line saying, those are on me. That's my mistake. You guys keep doing your thing. I'll catch up, basically. Racing back for it, Ross, trying to get back to the five-yard line, but he's denied. It is also impressive as, as you know, we do see him in the attention to what's going on in the game when he's not in there. Dixon rumbling across the 20-yard line. <laughs> it should matter. I do remember that vividly. <laughs> Brencher on a toss. Taken down by Borgensen. You know, they stay invested because they know they're going to get an opportunity, and he thinks it helps them play their best football late. Well, it certainly happened last year, didn't it? As they were playing their best at the very end, you know, those last half dozen games or so. You just think about what a recruiting tool it is to have, you know, kids come visit the school. In Allen the... hauls that one in and goes out of bounds. Well, yep. we've, we've been a part of a few of those. We've seen some close ones, and obviously it was a close one today with North Carolina and Duke. That one decided on an interception. Overton heading for the end zone. He is in for a touchdown. The Tigers strike again. DeAndre Overton, a senior from Greensboro, North Carolina. DeAndre Overton is having it's been incredible. Low wide receiver screen, good blocking by the big guys up front, getting guys down, and just an easy walk into the end zone for his third touchdown of the night. There's no question this is their best performance. They're kind of a, a full team effort when you think about what they did defensively. How they played offensively, a much cleaner performance than we've seen in the past. And even though early on, Dylan had some very, very good carries and some healthy gains, and one very memorable one. This one a long bomb, but that's going to be incomplete, intended for Ladson. 
You know, offensively, the first three drives, you have 11 plays for 24 yards. Then all of a sudden you're playing catch up, and we talked about it. They're just not built to do that. Kobe White trying to spin free. Did not get out to the 45-yard line. Again, I've got basketball season coming up, so the guys and I are going to spend a lot of time together with Syracuse and Virginia coming up to kick off the season on the ACC Network. Pressure on you to do that job. I've done a lot of things in broadcasting. That's one thing that I would never want to do. You've got to know your limits. <laughs> Garwell hauls that one in and perfect for homecoming. What a great idea. Great execution. And uh, Tigers, it doesn't seem to matter who is in the contest. This time it's Michael Dukes. I think sometimes can get lost in the shuffle because of the great wide receivers and quarterback. And it's hard to believe. You know, a guy had 192 yards rushing a year ago. Another big night tonight, I should say, a week ago. Many of the fans heading for the exits and trying to beat the rain. The light rain is starting to fall. Strader off to the left side, still on his feet before he's dragged down. I think not having him as, as much confidence as they maybe felt like they had in Dennis Grissel. I think there was a difference for them tonight not having Anthony Brown. Sweeney with a fair catch. And getting a carry to bring up third down and three. He'll hand it off here. Clemson staying on the ground. Three touchdowns, a career high. Duke's now in at the running back spot. Run another play off to the left here. What you typically see from this Clemson offense. Well, to your point, he had not had a touchdown. He had three tonight. He had four receptions all season long, but they really targeted him. And he had some back-breaking plays against the Boston College defense. A lot of guys did, though, for Dabo Sweeney's team. And they will walk away with a very impressive victory over Boston College. That makes it 23 consecutive ACC wins. 23 consecutive wins for the Clemson Tigers.